My poor sick girlfriend. How are you feeling? A peaceful time. In the north, it's when fresh snow blankets the ground. And for the south, it's when the humidity in the air no longer wants to drown you, and the mosquitoes and gnats and all the other creepy crawlies retreat back into the depths of hell for a nice nap. But lurking just around the corner of our winter wonderland is a menace to everyone around the globe. Hello, I'm Dr. Boyfriend, and today, we're going to be talking about the flu. Have you been experiencing issues with your loved one recently? Has their vibrant and youthful look been replaced by a pale and puffy-eyed reflection of their former selves? No, it's not time to trade them in for a newer model. They're probably just sick. And in this segment, I'm going to show you a few tips you can do to help speed along the recovery process and get your partner back to working order as soon as possible. The first thing you need to do to get your partner on the road to recovery is collect the correct supplies. Because without the right medicine, you can't possibly hope to beat the flu. Once you arrive at the store, place your frail and diseased loved one into a shopping cart so they can have a front row seat to picking out their favorite flavor of medicine. Warning. Symptoms of the flu may include irrational behavior that could manifest itself with your partner making absurd demands while shopping. It is important that you hold strong and do not cave while they are sick. I need these. Buddy, you don't need fried pickle chips. You said I need them. Buddy. I need them. Finally, after you've loaded your sickly soulmate full of medicine, have her wash it down with some tried and true chicken noodle soup. I made you some soup, buddy. I want it. Buddy, you've got to eat something. I want, I want egg drop. We don't have egg drop. We have chicken noodle soup. I don't want chicken noodle soup. I want egg drop. If you wanted egg drop, why didn't you say something while we were out? I didn't want it then. Look, buddy, I already caved when it came to the chips. I made you some chicken noodle soup. Now eat it. Yeah. Come here. Thank you for taking care of me today. I love you. I love you too. You're a good boyfriend. Ten ten. Ten ten. Do you want the first sip of egg drop before I contaminate it? I would indeed. Well, that wraps up today's segment. If you follow these simple steps, you too can have your partner back up and running in no time. Join us next time when we cover an even more dangerous epidemic, the man cold. Man cold isn't real? Yes, yes it, it is. is. This has been Health Tips with Dr. Boyfriend. Till next time.